Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. To God be the glory and the honor. I would like to thank God for the opportunity that himself has given me. I'm speaking this without fear. The fact is that I cannot be afraid with the person who kill the flesh and the blood. But uh, I'm afraid of the Lord God Almighty who can kill the soul and the flesh when all these things have perished that simply means that uh, I will never have another opportunity to speak or to talk the way I'm talking because Sim is the creator of everything people of the country of, the, of, of Zambia I'm wondering the reason why Siawan who is being called the prophet this man has definitely made the bad leaguers with us first of all I'm starting with the musicians whom he killed himself boasting. He talked about Davy that he killed him. He talked about uh, PJ that he killed him. I fail to understand why he always stand in our country. While his country Nigeria, there are so many problems in that country. I'm uh, kindly thanking God for the time and the opportunity has given me glory and the honor be to him the one that has definitely given us his day and uh, we have seen his mercies that is God towards us he has granted us the new life which is the free gift we thank him people of zambia there's one thing which is touching me to this fake prophet called siawan i don't know if he has ever seen me before but he has never seen me before, not even but, he has never seen me before. I wonder why he always stands to blaspheme the country. He always fight our president. He brought confusion in our country when PF was in power. Also the way he did to UP, I mean to PF part, he is now doing it to the UPND part. I don't know what connection is got with us. I don't know if he's a Zambian or I don't know if he's got a plan to stand in the ticket of President, hey, 
now you have got the access to speak anything if you like to speak in our country Chinege how many times have you been limiting this country with your spirits I definitely know that you are the man of Jagaban that's what you say yourself you believe in your God's father I believe in the God the creator who created you and your spiritual father you need to apologize I'm just giving you the brotherly advice that you should stop making noise in this country otherwise Zambia is not your country the one that I believe in is greater than you is the major one is popular than you you are busy boasting in our country you did this you did this you did it but you have forgotten that what you did it was something which brought the impact in our country leave the president alone leave the president alone otherwise it is not going to be all right with you no matter how you can stand to strike me to do what because in the book of jeremiah and the book of isaiah it is written to say no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper so no matter how you can stand to fight me you can't in jesus name you are very far and you are still a kid leave the recent government which is looking after us caring for us we struggled we we, we 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 wept we mourned a lot of time people went away from the way of god but now god answered our prayer we are now safe <laughs> oh my god my goodness <laughs> you can thought to understand you know some people what they think I know <laughs> I know many people think like what is this man laughing <laughs> it is it, it does not make sense you know somebody is telling someone to do what he is thinking as if he's got an access in our country <laughs> who are you to speak or to tell president HH to arrest Ed Galungu who are you to tell him to revenge for what those you know evil people did to the president <laughs> we know your secret very well and i know your secret very well the thing is that uh, you just want to be popular to make a name <laughs> you have forgotten to fight your battle in the country nigeria boko Haram is troubling you and also, also the economy is higher please here one <laughs> do you think <laughs> or you just need to do something evil or maybe the president got some rings you were claiming from ed galungo and his ministers maybe even him has got such stuffs which you gave him i believe that he never came to and asked that it's you siawan who is fighting and asking for the president hh to get the stuffs i mean the stuffs that he gave to 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 to, to the past government stop stop it if you were or if you was to be the god the creator could you leave the sinners observing them for what they do you can't <coughs> you cannot give chance to the sinners to repent the reason is you are too evil we zambian we are not happy at all with you you boast that you killed Devi yourself we watched that you boast to say you killed PJ we've got such messages of you in our hears and your clips we have them and then you think we are happy to see you speaking rubbish on the media against the president you are busy speaking it will be impossible i don't know what kind of english to speak impossible for the upnd government to 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 win the election of 2026 you are not god 
and who doesn't have any purpose for this country. The one who have got the purpose is the God Almighty through his son Jesus Christ. We are not happy with you anymore. Let me tell you, I myself, I believe in the God of Paul and Silas. When Paul and Silas were in the prison, God has to appear. And I also believe in the same God of Shadik, Meshach and Abednego, who had to rescue them from the lake fire furnace. And I also believe in the God of David, who had to defeat the Goliath. Not Shimwebate, you are just wasting your time. For Kassanda, the thing is, all this message you are listening to is to tell you that you should stop making noise in our country. President HH is not your friend. You said sorry for what you did, so stop and leave him alone. <clears throat> Something that I've understand is this, that I cannot doubt in you, Siawan. In the book of Revelation chapter 13 verses number 1 going down, the scripture states the rising of the beast, the beast coming out from the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, blaspheming God. And going down there, there is the calculation and how to discover the number triple six or six is the six so i understand this that you are the beast who have come to blaspheme our president hhi the reverend dasken katombi from the church of african methodist episcopal church which was formed in 1787 is 235 years now we do not believe or i do not believe in the power of the beast so you are here to do something evil because you are talking like a lion that's what the bible states and you've got colors like a leopard also your feet they're like the feet of bear please leave the president alone leave the president alone it's the fact that i'm telling you psalm state 5 the bible says they've dug the pit so that i fall in it let them fall in it those that are chasing me and i've laid the net for me so that i fall or the net trap me so let those that have laid the net come and be trapped on it it's not only this it is not only this but the scripture the same psalm state five it says fight those that are fighting me you have a stand to fight the upnd government for you had the spirit and the power to steal the votes the impact you brought is because of you you apologized to the president hh for what you did but you are still repeating some things i could not fear you see one i could not fear you leave our country alone leave the president and the entire executive alone you are fake we have been quiet for a long time giving you the chance that maybe you can talk something that would develop or help the country or the advice instead of advising yes if you see that the president is not fully 100% he is a person he can mess up something or somewhere but you are busy doing that may God fight you I stand like David who defeated Goliath so at the same time if you continue I'm expecting to hear your reply if indeed you are the servant of God chosen by God chosen by God chosen by God you are going to reply but I'm sure if you continue I'll ask my God so that he might give me the power to fight you even this time around as you can see i'm surrounded by the power of angels angel michael and the holy ghost fire 
who are legible to fight and who are capable to fight you, you should stop. May God forgive you. I believe in the God of Elijah who answers by fire. As I started at first, I told you, see one, I cannot fear you. Because the one who is in me is greater than you. You portrayed the bad picture yourself. You said you killed PJ and Devi. So, the, the, the warning that I'm warning you is that if the president HH would die, or any minister, or any member of parliament, it will be you and it is you. The thing is that uh, you portray the bad picture yourself for killing our people, and also you want to do evil, even Edgar Lung, if he's going to die, it is you. You insulted Chimba Kambil and the entire group. You are the man of spirit. If you are indeed the prophet of God, why couldn't we see that in the realm of the spirit that they will trouble you? No fear right now. We only believe in one true living God. If their president is going to die, if anyone is going to die, I'm in my office right now at work, but if anyone is going to die, just know that the countrywide, Africa-wide, worldwide, it will be you. So stop it. The fire of the living God is upon those people who fear him. Leave the president to sort the problem of this country peacefully. He's a chosen leader. If the ZNBC or the government will call me for the interviews, I will definitely call and I will explain the reason why I have said so on the media. I know some people they continue saying no. Reverend Daskan Katombi is going to be killed by Siawan who and who, Siawan is evil what and what, that's I don't care. I said at first that I cannot fear the man who killed the flesh and the blood, but I fear the God who killed the soul and the spirit. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, Siawan, you are walking one less to a day, you don't understand. You need to continue confessing kneeling down each and every day. The time that are wasting, speaking evil rubbish. I, in fact, it's my first time seeing the prophet insulting, using abusive language on the media. Even the followers who are following you, they are blind. That's why Jesus said, when Herod told or sent the, 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 the people to go and tell Jesus Christ not to go in his city, said, go and tell that fox that I'm coming. So if you continue in our country, you are a fox, and indeed you are a fox. Don't you ever continue to bring nonsense and noise in our country. If a blind man leads somebody, all of them are going to fall in the pit. May God forgive you. I pray that may the good God deliver you. I pray under the power of apostolic anointed but that be delivered through our Lord Jesus Christ and our Savior. Amen. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.